In the past two years, China laid the groundwork for its electric vehicle revolution. The number of EVs sold annually in the country grew from 1.3 million to 6.8 million, making China the world's largest market for EVs. How exactly did China manage to pull this off? When you drive a Chinese vehicle today, it's far different than 10 years ago. They are better built, and the quality overall is much more competitive with what you would see from a U.S. automaker or from a European brand. In the early 2000s, China's car industry faced a challenge. Despite being a manufacturing powerhouse for traditional internal combustion cars, there were no domestic brands poised to compete with foreign makers. Recognizing the limitations in overtaking global leaders in internal combustion engine innovation and facing stiff competition in hybrid vehicle research, the Chinese government decided to pivot. Acknowledging the need for a fresh approach, they shifted their focus and investments toward the unexplored territory of full battery-powered cars. Battery powered, of course. In 2001, the Chinese government took steps to invest in related technologies, marking it as a priority in the five years plan the country's top economic blueprint. A pivotal moment came in 2007 when Wang Gang, a former Audi engineer and China's Minister of Science and Technology, assumed a crucial role. Wan is credited with spearheading the national commitment to embrace electric vehicles entirely. Since then, China consistently prioritized the development of EVs in its economic planning. Recognizing the importance of charging infrastructure, China has also made substantial investments in building a robust public charging network. As of the end of 2022, the total number of charging infrastructure in China reached 5.21 million units, reflecting a significant year-on-year -year increase of nearly 100%. This includes approximately 650,000 units of public charging infrastructure, resulting in a cumulative total of 1.8 million units, and leads globally in charging infrastructure. From 2009 to 2022, the Chinese government invested more than $28 billion in subsidies and tax breaks for electric vehicles, although the subsidy policy officially ended in the past year, replaced by the e dual credits system and its impact was evident. The first half of 2023, China was by far the largest EV market, with 55% of global EV sales. The biggest issue now, I think, is that China is the biggest EV market by far. It's been driving the growth for the last several years. Europe and the U.S. are now catching up fast, and as we just get to new levels of penetration in the U.S. Furthermore, local governments collaborated with EV companies to tailor policies promoting their growth. For instance, BYD, the Chinese company that recently overtook Tesla as the world's largest electric vehicle builder, established a close relationship with Shenzhen. This partnership led Shenzhen to become the first city globally to electrify its entire public bus fleet, contributing to BYD's rise in the EV market. On the other hand, Chinese local authorities have actively sought to attract Tesla for establishing manufacturing facilities within the country. The swift construction of the Shanghai Gigafactory in 2019 was made possible due to favorable local policies. Today, the Shanghai Gigafactory stands as Tesla's most efficient manufacturing hub, contributing to more than half of the total Tesla car deliveries in 2022.